Now then, it's solar inverter investigations and maybe fixing time again. We've got a Solace here with an OV bus code on it, so it won't start. And the last time we had an OV bus, it meant the relays. But this is a 5 kilowatt Solace and I've been digging into it and I'm quite surprised about things. So um, let's have a look. So I've already got the board out and marked all the cables up, labelled them up. The ones that go to this side of the board. Now bearing in mind that this is a 5 kilowatt machine and a 3 kilowatt or 3.5 kilowatt machine has problems with these relays and so they've gone and put the same thing in there. Does that make sense or what? Now then, again, you would imagine that there'd been, there would be a burnt post on the other side of that board. But let's have a look, but I didn't find one. So I mark the relays with a blue pen. Whoop, there we go. But there's no burnt pins. Which means probably that it's the relay contacts that have actually burnt and they burnt um, uh, quite quickly and so therefore the heat hasn't come down the uh, relay post and melted the solder. That might be the case. Yeah, I'm just going to show you the label on the side of this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder all those relays which will take me a good while but I think that's the best way to test them and I did do a video on testing them where I used the 12 volt battery and a bulb just to check the continuity of the contacts so I mean otherwise I could just dremel the tops off all these relays but I really don't want to do that if the relays if there are some relays that are good and and I'm not sure there's two of these relays are mains I think and two are um, the DC but again again might be wrong if you know better I will stand corrected so let's just have a look at the label so here we go 5 kilowatt it looks like they've been able to get 5 kilowatt because they've um, got 5 kilowatt based on the top end of that voltage which is 500 volts 100 to 500 and the maximum current is 15 amps but at 15 amps DC it doesn't take much to burn contacts if it drops out from overheating or the mains drops out when it's on full generation the middle of a sunny day something like that yeah so we're just going to um, have a look at those relays but there's the information anyway right I numbered the board where the relays went and I numbered the relays and there's a telltale on one of them just focus there see that brown bit around that so I'm just going to test these all now but I think that is number two so I think number two is faulty so we'll just crack on with that oh 
Okay. So we want a negative to the from there to a coil. And then we want a positive from the battery to the coil. Good. Okay. We also want a positive from the battery. It doesn't really matter which way. To a contact there. And then we want to go from the negative there to the contact. So we need another clip. So here we go. And this is relay number. I can't see the number. Never mind. So where's the other the other end of the coil is there. Look. That relay is not ah, it's sort of now. But it wasn't to start with. So that one I think has got a just leave it a second okay that one which is number one let's try number two okay so that's a there that goes there and that goes on that contact there that definitely does not work okay so we're on to something here number two is definitely dodgy um, where are we that goes on there and that goes on there okay that's a good one I'm going to test that number one again because it could have been just a duff connection but number one I think is the the DC side so I think I'm going to have both of those it seems to be all right okay so this one which is number two let's have that apart yeah and go as far as we can see can you see that burnt contact there Yeah, I've had to keep the camera really quite close and it's sort of balanced. But the contact itself is burnt. Yeah, so that wants cleaning up or replacing the relay. So this is number two and it's just fallen over. And the number is gone now because it was on there. Can you really see that? So I'm just going to open up number one and see what that's like. But um, as a proof of concept, I'm going to clean this up and check that it makes contact. And then we'll test it on the, uh, the bench again. So there, that is the, the start. That's the sign that there's a problem with heat. And of course, it didn't get down to melt the, uh, the solder joint. So initially that was a bit of like, oh, what's going on? Right. So we just put that in there. You can feel a bit of roughness on that.
So I'm just pressing down there and then checking it. Yeah, there's a bit of burnt there. It's quite... The other one, number one, has cleaned up all right. Number two though, it is quite burnt. That's looking better. So does that, when that touches, you see, the contact touches, but the pole touches as well. I don't know whether we can see that. I don't know whether we're going to be zooming down enough. But basically, the contact touches and the pole is touching at the same time. So, and this is just... Put a little bit in there and just bend it ever so slightly so that you can see that there's still plenty of gap there but when you do this it touches and then there's a bit more not quite enough just got to have a slight bit of spring to it so it touches contact touches that's it perfect and this one touches and then there's a bit of movement right I'm going to put those back in and we will um, check the proof of concept right this is number two relay that I've just cleaned up that was faulty that seems happy enough now right right let's just see what happens yeah all right, we've got something. We haven't killed it. Can we see that? I think we can. Yeah, initializing. Power. So this is a waiting game now. Although something's happening. Inverters are click um, relays are clicking. They've not dropped out. Generating. Whoopee! There you go. You can hear the uh, variac uh, humming. Turn the variac up a bit. There we are, 22 watts, 40 watts. Brilliant. We're pleased about that. Because when I uh, saw none of the solder joints on the relays burnt, it did sit me back a little bit and think, ah, that's not what I expected. Comments, discussion, ideas, brilliant. Another inverter saved. And if we run it at half uh, its capacity, according to rule two of uh, solar panels, then we'll be away and it'll last for years. I'll probably use this one on the new solar uh, trailer that hopefully you've been uh, watching and there'll be a new video up about that fairly shortly. Cheers for now.